Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tim Tim. Last time we got pretty far into the Talassian Cliffs, which... Actually, maybe I should grab some repels, now that I think about it, since we're going to be running through this grass and stuff again. So yeah, last time we made it pretty far, but we had to come back because... Quite honestly, we got our asses handed to us by, uh... One particular trainer. We don't have to run through that much grass, so I think I will... I won't go back and get the um, repels. I don't remember exactly what their name was in this game, but it does the same thing that a repel does, basically. So we went... Didn't we go this way last... No, no, no. I'm thinking of further up. So we go up here. Yeah, there's the person that knew our mom. There's where we saw a bunch of people with crazy Tim Tim last time. And, yeah, we're almost... Yeah, there was the trainer that kicked our ass last time. And two more untamed gonkies. Do I want to bother fighting them? They're level 7 and 8. They might be worth some pretty good XP. I think I need to use this attack with you, though, because... No point using anything else. Go ahead and use that one on the full health one. Boom. Yeah, times 2 damage. Get out of here, gonky. There's Urshul. Windblade. That shouldn't hurt Crystal too much. Yeah, we're good. And Lowali leveled up. Cool, cool. Go ahead and use that. And then we finish it off with a Glass Blade. DC Beam. Interesting. I think that's the same ability my gonky knows, but I haven't really used gonky yet, so... Which, speaking of, we probably should switch our Tim-Tim around so that some of the less represented ones can get a shot. Let's see. Scale, you're heared up, uh, heared. You're healed up again. So let's go ahead and put you up there. And how about Gonki? We can give you two a shot. That's where I went last time that actually got me back down, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, there's this. There's that. Oh, wait, no, this is where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, we went slightly further last time than I recalled. Didn't we? Yeah. Wake up, you. We have company. Huh? What? You're ready to be beaten. By both of us. Shut up and follow my lead. Let's see your Tim Tim, stranger. I'll fight you both. Oh, yes, you will. Tim Tim up. Let's do this. It's weird that 2v1s are just normal and acceptable. It's like, oh, we're both going to team up on you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Because it'd be super hard to command two creatures rather than just one. Nimble. That increases your special attack, if I remember correctly. And then that just does a little bit of damage. Let's increase your special attack. Wait. It does zero damage. Why do I have to choose a target for a buff move? Whatever. Earth isn't good against either of those. So just go for Scratch, I suppose, on the Lowali. Whose attack are you lowering? That's fine. That Tim Tim uses special attacks. And that lowers... Okay, lowering my defense is a bit scary. I don't know how I feel about that. Go ahead and give that Lowali a good Scratch, though. Oh, wait, that... Oh, you choose a target to raise the special attack of? I didn't know you could even do that. Why does it default to the enemy, eh? I guess is the better question here, then. That is very weird. Well, hopefully these two attacks can just finish it off. You're just going to keep using Tenderness. Like I said, not using physical moves. Don't know why you're using that on Ganki. But whatever. Hypnosis, eh? That's unfortunate, but whatever. Scale managed to level up, though. Ah, you have another Tim Tim, huh? I don't remember... I don't think wind is actually good against nature, so... I think I will still focus this Tim Tim, though. Just because it's a lower level, so I think it'll go down before the high rock will... Plus, that one's going to have to rest 
soon since it's running out of stamina. Pretty good damage. Ah, uh, you're the one that shoots out toxic spores a bunch, that's right. At least you're awake now, Scale. Let's go ahead and use one of these. And you can scratch again, and then we'll save the Tail Strike for the Paharuk. Oh yeah, you do take less damage from that. That's fine though, Scale can finish you off. Who are you putting to sleep now? Scale again. You were damaged due to overexertion though. It did do a lot of damage to them, however. Okay, you I can use this DC beam on. And we should be fine. You, however, I want to go ahead and hit with the tail strike. Yeah, two times damage. Get out of here, Pookie. This is not a fight for a uh, fish. Yeah, you better tell it to get some rest. And Gonki leveled up. Hey. Some pretty good special defense. Go ahead and hit you with the DC. And you with Scratch. And that's times two damage. Good stuff. Thank you kindly. Held anger. And all that suppressed rage ke keeps building up until it bursts in a nova of wrath. Excuse me. Sounds good. Alright, Scale. It's not fair. Huh. Earned 111 pan suns, though. Later, nerds. Alright, that was a pretty good first battle for you two. So, let me just look back at your SVs. Increased attack and special attack, but pretty garbage everything else. And cold natured, instead of getting cold, the Tim Tim gets frozen. Alrighty. Well. Then we have Tatiru. Yeah, your attack is pretty good. And you can't be knocked out due to overexertion. Any new Tim Tim hanging out here? No, it's just some scale. Nothing too terribly interesting then. We'll probably just run away from you two. Assuming we can. We failed both attempts to get away. That sucks. I don't like that. Can we run, please? There we go. Well, no need to be futzing around over there then. Hello, stranger. What brings you here? Excuse me, your name is Daedalus? Neat. The views. Ah, breathtaking, aren't they? Sometimes I sit here for hours and wonder if this is how the high abovers look down on us. How small and insignificant we must look from there. Anyway, I'm interested in changes of perspective. This little high angle view we have here is just a taste of what it must be to look down from high above. Of course, I'm not crazy enough to plan anything regarding the high above. Don't worry. I just want to see how we could understand their perspective. Suppose we could see our little Deniz from above the clouds, so of course I've thought of hiring an airship to take pictures, but that would be way too expensive and I'm just a gifted amateur with intellectual curiosity. But you, you could help. How? You're a tamer, aren't you? We could use a properly trained flying Tim Tim. We need a Tim Tim strong enough to carry a camera and well trained to get us exactly the shots we want. Do you think it would help with that? I can give you a little reward. Sure, for science. Excellent. Let's take a look at your Tempedia and see what birdie might do the job. My young assistant. Maybe this one. No, this one. Yes, this one. Bring me this one. Barnsh. Barnsh. Yes, right what we need. Strong, but also intelligent. We need it to follow instructions with complete accuracy, not just fly high. Get me a Barnsh. The Dallas Talazian Cliffs needs a Barnsh. What is that? Is that an evolution of anything that I already have? I hope it's not the third evolution of you. How did you even see this creature in my Tempedia? Because I don't think I even see it myself. I do not. Wow, will you look at that? The lake? I'd love to jump from here and splash down in the water. Blam! Wouldn't that be super cool? Just like a movie, dude. I like how his name was Rubber Necker. Insane. Alrighty, up we go, into a trainer. That honestly has a pretty nice style, I like your purple. Good day, fellow tamer, I've never seen you around these parts. First time on this trail, how are you liking the Talassian Cliffs? They're lovely. 
Aren't they? The best antidote for city life. So let's enjoy them to the fullest, eh? Let's do some fighting. Alright. Oh, you were a lady. Whoops. I couldn't exactly tell from behind, so... <laughs> All I saw was the hat and everything. And I mean, a guy could wear that hat. I'd love to wear that hat. It's it's purple. That's That's my thing. Level 18, you say? That's pretty terrifying. If they manage to defeat you, though, they will get a lot of XP. I don't think they're going to be doing that, though. That was my only electric type, so you're going to be slightly harder to defeat now. I think you'd be best, though, since you're nature and flying. Let's go ahead and hit you with an Urushul and a Tail Strike. What did that do? That just raises your attack, yeah. By two stages, though, and lowers your defense. That is good. I like that. Well, yeah, poison or toxic is strong against water. Completely forgot that. High pressure water. Yeah, sorry. Half damage, bud. Down you go. Thanks for the XP, though. That'll probably be a pretty hefty amount. Oh, yeah. I leveled scale up immediately. Ah, uh, you got me. Well done, fellow tamer. We're in 55 pan sons. I like her outfit. It's pretty cool. All right. Off we go over here to the right. There's some treasure chests. One balm plus. And an ether plus. I haven't really been using those as much as I probably should. Alright, Gonki. Unfortunately, you went down. Who should we level up in your place? Probably Tataru. Oh, look at her run behind me. It looks so derpy. Whoa, what's the deal with this? Oh, you want a battle? Welcome to Paharo Drop, the best place to catch wind, Tim Tim, and all that. Just watch your step. It's quite a fall. This is Paharo Drop. Yes, this is it. Used to be where all Paharo had their nests, but then everyone started coming here to catch them. So these days, there are more tamers than Paharo. Now they nest in the rocky perches over Turquesa. I want to see you try to climb those. What's down there? A long way to a quick end. I mean, there is a chance you might survive, I guess. If you're lucky enough to land on water in Upper Indigo Lake. But don't even think about trying. Better be safe. Keep your feet on firm land and have some Tintin battles. Alrighty. That's what I'm talking about. A spectacular backdrop for a spectacular battle. Tim Tim up. All right, Paharo aficionado. You're basically the bird tamer, or the Magikarp guy from Pokemon. The one that just has like six Magikarps. Looks like you have three Paharo. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with a heavy blow probably, and then you with scratch. Boom. Not quite enough to one hit, but I'm sure this will. No? Paharo are tanky little things, aren't they? Tankier than they seem like they would be, at the very least. Paharo uses Stare. And could we do another Heavy Blow? Yeah, we definitely could. So you use Heavy Blow on that one, and you use Tail Strike on this one. That should be all we need. And Heavy Blow. Boom. Some good stuff, you two. So, seems like Tataru has higher attack, stamina, lower speed, higher attack. Oh wait, I said attack for HP, didn't I? They have higher HP, stamina, lower speed, higher attack, higher defense, higher special attack, and higher special defense. I mean, Scale's ability is better, but Tataru just seems like a stronger Tim Tim. It also doesn't have as good moves, however. <clears throat> Scales, Scale has some type coverage because he actually has an earth attack. Alright, well we can almost use Held Anger. Wouldn't mind getting that off. Unless you kill me. But hey, we got that Fuhrer. Ooh. The high rack is kind of tanky. And Tataru's very, very quickly running out of... Stamina. Hmm. How much damage does this do? 20, 30, 58? I mean, we're going to take damage from overexertion anyway. We might as well just go ahead and get it all out now. Hopefully this can... 
Yeah, attack Tatsuru instead of finishing off scale. Good idea. And then held anger. Whoa. That was an amazing looking move. What the hell? That looked crazy. Yeah, Tatsuru gets stats pretty well. Like, he, he gets a lot of stats. My only question is, I wonder... Tatsuru might not evolve. Scale might. That might be why Tatsuru's better early. Because Scale looks like they could have an evolution, but I'm not sure what Tatsuru would evolve into. Well, you two are pretty high level now, and Scale is definitely beat up, so let's put 2i in for now. What now? can an old lady enjoy some quiet time on her own? Hello, ma'am. I'm Sereth. Why, well, pleased to meet you, Miss Sereth. And what a lovely bonnet you're wearing, my dear. Pleased to meet you, too. Would you care for a spot of Tim Quarrel? Yeah, whatever... Whoops. Yeah, whatever fancy names you young at call nowadays, youngin. How about your Tim Tim? Lady, should you really be out here on your own if you can't see well enough to tell that I don't have a bonnet on my head? I'm worried about you. Alright, we could start off with a heavy blow. Hmm. Not really sure who to focus. Probably you. Yeah, let's just focus on the Pigapec first. Oh, come on. I want mine to learn Sand Splatter. That would give it the little bit of type coverage that I was talking about. Oh, poor Tataru. Alright. Crystal, get out here. Everyone else is in a little bit of a rough shape, but you're just fine. Plus, you get the extra damage with Crystal Dust. And we just keep dropping Shrill Voice, I guess. Or we can drop Shrill Voice, and then when it's on cooldown, we can drop it again. Ooh, that's two times damage to Crystal, actually. This isn't good. I mean, if, if Low Alley comes in, Low Alley should be able to do pretty well against them. Let's hit you with Crystal Dust, see if it maybe does more damage to you. I used Feather Gatling. Yeah, let's use Windblade on you. Hmm. Tatru uses Sand Splatter. And down goes Crystal. Poor Crystal. Nibble. And Windblade. Okay, we've gotten both of them pretty low. The well, Wally should be able to finish it off. And... I can heal some of them up with bombs in just a second. And Shrill Voice should be good. Down you go. How dare you scratch me, that is rude. Just barely not enough. Damage yourself. Urshul should be able to finish it off, so... There we go. Tanky little thing, aren't you? Trying to learn toxic spores. Well, I don't really see myself using tenderness that much. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. I like you, Lolali. Oh dear, that was quite the absolute defeat for me, was it not? I concede, young tamer. Friend 75 pansons. Your mouth looks weird. Yeah, that is a drop. I like that the Pahara were just sitting here, though. It's pretty cute. Pahara drop. Please mind the edges and keep an eye on Tim Tim and small children. So I imagine you can just catch a ton of Bahara there. Thank you for helping us keep it clean. Dojo East. Temporium get to bridges north. Airship terminal. Air Sola Palace. Hotel. West. So we want to go north to the Temporium for sure. Gotta heal everybody up, we do. There we are. Quite happy with the team so far. I could probably stand to drop a few. Usually I don't use this many Pokemon if I play like a Pokemon game. I usually like to slowly pick them up and form a team, but now I'm just like, eh. Everything's new, so why don't we just fill our team up with all kinds of stuff. Hello. Are you in line? No, no, I'm just looking. Go ahead. At the wall? You're not even looking at the product. <laughs> okay. 
A new customer, good day, and welcome to the Temporium. Hmm, probably want another one of those. That was pretty useful. Reduces wild encounters. We still have a little... Oh no, we're kind of low on Tim cards. Let's buy some more of those. Probably need some more balm. And last but not least, yeah, let's grab a few of these. Just in case we ever need them. Got some good people in here. Sloppy Nachos, Keeve, Thoughtosaurus, Ginny Hinjin. Whoop, my headset. Let's just go ahead and unplug that. Yeah, I keep I keep having to charge it. That the battery on that is so close to dying. I should really just get a new one, but I've had a lot of other things to buy recently. Hey, let's play Tim Tim. You're too young for er no, that's stupid. Where are your Tim Tim? Dad says I'm too young for Tim Tim, so I print pretend to be a Tim Tim. You can play with me, but only if you know your Tim Tim very well. Okay, I'll play with you. Look, now I'm a Tataru. Can you see me? Eh, of course. Oh, what a great Tim Tim you are. You're so tall. Yes, look, I can see over everyone's head. Zoom, zoom, blam. Look now, I'm a little wani now. Flit, flit, flit. Ah, <sighs> so fast. Yes, ooh, I'm flying very fast. I can see the other side of the river from here. Nobody can catch me. And now you. Uh... Look, I'm a kala... Er... No, I know Saku, so I'm gonna go... Now I'm a Saku. Ooh. Do you like my flower? Oh, yeah. Another one, another one. Okay, so now I have a sword and we are fencing. Defend yourself, Saipat. I'll beat you with my... It's not a katana, it's it's a Sai, I believe. I don't think it's a Tonto. Oh no, you won, Sai Pat. Ha ha ha, that was fun. Hey, you're pretty cool for a grown-up. Here, you can have my kiwi. I don't like them. One energetic kiwi. Delicious Omnesian kiwis. Furry little bites of sweetness. Restores 25% stamina. Well, that was cool. That was a little side quest for us. I only remembered what a Sai was because of uh, Raphael from <laughs> Ninja Turtles. That's the only reason I knew. I couldn't remember what a Tonto was. That's not the things that... A Tonto isn't what Talum uses in Soul Calibur, is it? Might be. Incredible. You managed to entertain Liliana for a while. You truly are good with children, my friend. Is that your kid? Yes, her name is Liliana. She's... Well, just look at her. She has such a vivid imagination. Playing with her is exhausting. She never tires of making things up in her mind. I see. Dojo of Arisola. Don't want to go there yet. Academia trainees, welcome. Sorry, Tamer. The dojo's closed. You can't come in. Why is it closed? The dojo master's not in. We're waiting for her to come back. As a matter of fact, it's taking her longer than usual. I'm starting to worry. Where is Sophia? She said she was going to catch some Tim Tim around Windward Fort. She took her surfboard, so there's no reason why she's gone so long. With a board, you don't need to come back the long way. Through the gifted bridges, you can just surf your way out of Windward Fort through the Solara River. I'll find her. Would you like to do that, fellow tamer? Thank you. I'd feel much better if someone took care of this. Where can I find her again? It's supposed to be surfing near Windward Fort. If you have a surfboard, it's easy to find. Just get in the water and... But I don't have a board. It's the scenic route for you. Leave Arisola and go north. You'll have to go through gifted bridges. It's a long way, but... There's no getting lost. Windward Fort is right at the end of it. Cool. This geyser is the last reminder of how Hatless Hill would have looked before Arisola was built on its flat top. Natural springs like this one originate all over the Talassian Cliffs, especially near the source of the Upper Indigo. The poet Pasifae of Turquesa described them as a chemical wedding of wind and water slash sylphic soul, sylphic soul of Deniz. More pragmatically, they provide drinking water to most of the west coast. That's neat. Alright, one... That looks like a whole thing. You know what? Why don't we just go ahead and end this one off here? I am running out of time, and this will be a kind of like a five-minute shorter episode, I guess. I also just noticed the wind symbols on the tile in the streets here. Interesting. All right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. We made it to Arisola, fought a lot of trainers, and leveled up quite a bit. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tim Tim, and I will see you next time. <laughs>